then she's getting uh we've got birth certificate um this is in here I'll take the gloves off so a birth certificate from me a certificate of authenticity from McPherson Crafts in Canada. They're the ones that um, are offering the Seacrest uh, dolls um, in a um, FX. I might be pronouncing it Reborn FX Skin, or maybe it's FX Skin. I can't remember how you word it, but um, it is a softer vinyl um, than the original Seacrest uh, kits. I, I just love it. She also gets um, printed uh, information from my website of my care instructions. And then she gets a, a receipt copy. I didn't print out my address and personal information, but this is to keep with her records how much the kit cost and that it was from a um, authorized dealer because, you know, there's so much... Um, knockoffs going around stolen stolen baby dolls that are not even poured with the right vinyl it's a huge red flag if you see a listing that says silicone vinyl because they don't mix the two at least that's what I've been told um, okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put her little mittens on because it's going to be a cold little trip. Cold little trip. Yes, it is. All the way to Michigan. Put your mittens on. Fill you up. I'm going to have to take my gloves off so I can button things. I might just put this in the on afterwards or in the box. So I wanted to show that it's the back of her head. I never showed the back of her head, but it's it's I painted the dark brown uh, hair for an effect. Uh, it's it's a it's called the combi where you paint the hair and then you add hair and um, I used a three barb needle but all my future um, dolls from this point on are I have one barb needles finally I've been searching and searching and finally found some one barb needles so um, I will put that somewhere where you can find it and in, um, in the description because um, they are more fragile to work with, but you can at least get one hair at it, or one or two in instead of th three or four strands of hair in um, when you're rooting. So in the past, I don't even think we had one barb. I've never heard of it. So it's been a long time. We used to like, I'm going to get some scissors to cut that off there. I'm in my this is a photography slash sewing room, and I, I, do, I have these big old scissors. I'm going to carefully just trim that little snipperoo tag. I have vintage blankets, too, that have never been used other than for dolls, but um, I... I don't know, I've been buying more than using my um, supplies just because it's just fun to go shopping. Oh, before I put her in this, um, last night I had, I, you know, I forgot I was going to be videotaping and I already put uh, the saran wrap over her head so it's kind of already shaped like her head. But when you put, when you do a little bit of the, um, well, even if you use water, 
Um, but if you use a little bit of the noodle and boo and just, you know, style it how you want. And then put this cap over it. Uh, once it's bundled and delivered, when they go to take this, this saran wrap off the head, it's not going to be a total dried out mohair bedhead look mess. Because mohair um, needs to stay conditioned, I feel. And every time you dress your doll, you're going to mess up the hair. So that's what I like about the combi painted hair is there's less to, to have to touch up and style. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. I've already styled it exactly how I, I want it. It's not going to look exact when it comes out because, of course, it's getting smashed down. And then... To me, this looks like a little salon treatment that that I actually do, you know, myself to my own head. Um, saran Wrap is great for, you know, doing little salon treatments. And then we're going to protect her face. That's why I don't have my channel... Um, for children to view because this kind of looks a little scary and I don't want them doing this to their actual sibling so this is an adult video channel for adult doll collectors but anyway she's secure that way and I'm probably going to bundle her up um, off camera here I'll just get her started but this is not easy to do at a different angle, and I've got the tripod camera in my way. So anyway, just to give you an idea of how she's going to get bundled up. And she'll be all cozy. I need to double this blanket over, but she'll be all bundled up wrapped much better than this because this is just a little video here of showing but she'll be all bundled up nicely and then I'll take a big old bow and wrap her up and put everything in the box and she's on her way but yeah I need more space to uh, this is a larger blanket I need to double it up anyway just wanted to share how she's going home and and how she'll be seen when she opens the blanket 